our ways today. Hope you are all well. Today, I'm just gonna do a video on these hydro flasks that have been given to me to try out and to do a review on. I just thought I'd show you on what I use them for and how I use them. This is a 1.9 litre or 64 odds they call this one. Now all the, the lids, the wide mouth lids are all interchangeable. So, so this is how it comes. It comes like this with the wide mouth lid. These apparently keep cold for 24 hours and they keep hot for 12 hours. I'm gonna do a test to show you how long it keeps hot for. So I'm actually gonna go in, boil the kettle. So boiling water when I fill it and then I'll measure the temperature 12 hours later and I'll test it out. I've come home from work tonight and I will check the temperature of the hydro flask. I'm gonna put the water in. I'm gonna do a 12 hour test. Kettle's just boiled. 9.03 a.m. Okay, I'm gonna put it in and I'll check it 9.03 tonight. Check it out tonight. Okay, 9.03. Been 12 hours. Okay, the thermometer's in, still going up. This is the flask I filled 12 hours ago. And she's at 66 degrees. That's quite hot still. This one here, this is called the beer growl. It's 1.9 litre, it's a 64 odds. Okay. Now this would be great if you're gonna to go to a brewery and you can actually fill it with beer. And this one now has got a different top to the other one. So I think this one's not interchangeable with other hydro flasks. So this one's got a bit bigger lid on it. So yeah, it's got this handle so you can pour it with one hand. So they call this one a beer growler. To be honest, I use this one and this one in my van as my hot water service. All right, here's the beer growler and the 64 Oz wide mouth hydro flasks in the van. Now this is where they sit. They must have been purposely made for these, I don't know, but they fit absolutely perfect in my van. So there's my table, I fold it down. And pretty much once I fill these up with my boiling water, we pull up on the roadside, make a cup of coffee out of the flasks. Every time we boil the kettle, so whatever's left out of the kettle goes straight into the flask. And then later on, we have dinner or something, wash up. Someone wants to have a bit of a wash. You simply just get a, the flask, tip the hot water into the sink, add a bit of cold if you have to. Man, I can just drop me portable shower in there and have a shower or we can wash some dishes. Or if you wanna make a cup of coffee, cup of tea later on, we can just do that. But yeah, that's what I mainly use these two for. Fantastic, serves me well. They do just like they say, they they keep hot for 12 hours, they really do. They're insulated very, very well. It's a great quality product. They are pricey, but you're gonna get what you pay for. And stores away nicely. This here is the double insulated. Now this is the 16 ounce. The true point, 16 ounce. Now there's no lid on this one. The good thing about this, you can put cold drink in it and you don't get no condensation at all, whatsoever. So you know you get the condensation in your cups. When you put cold water in them, your cold drink, cold beer, put me scotch and coke in, me JD and coke. Fantastic, they keep cold. Or you can have for coffee, cups of tea, and they keep hot. The hot doesn't penetrate through to the outside show you how well insulated these cups are. Yeah, that's boiling water I've just put in that cup. Yeah, it's around 95 degrees Celsius. It's been sitting there for a while now to let the temperature go up on the thermometer. Okay, it's 95 degrees. Now there's the outside of the cup. It's 25 degrees on the outside of the cup. 26 on the tablecloth. Now point that back on the cup. It's 25 degrees. 
that insulates very, very well. So yeah, that's that 16 ounce true pint. Now this one here is another little cup or it doubles as a can cooler. Sleep comes with this, take that off. It's an empty can, it's a bit early to be drinking. But put the can in there, put your sleeve on, works very well, it keeps your drink nice and cold. Well, if you prefer a stubby, you can put a stubby in and that's awesome. It doubles up as a cup or a can or stubby cooler. If you want a smaller cup of coffee or smaller scotch and coke, it's a bit smaller than the 16 Oz. This is the 12 Oz. You can buy these inserts for the top. So if you want to make this hot coffee cup, you put your sipper on top of it and it keeps your coffee hot. You can buy these separately. Something else I use that I didn't think I would use, but yeah, they're, they're very handy. Now this is one thing I never thought I would use. And this thing is fantastic. I have a fridge in the van and generally put my drinks in the fridge. But this thing here is great when you go for walks. Now this is how it comes when you actually, now this is the 32 ounce, oh, it's a limited edition. It's just under a litre. This is how it comes. This is the original lid. This is the wide mouth lid. So this actual lid fits onto the wide mouth. So they're interchangeable. So the lids are the same, same size on the wide mouth version. You put each lid on each other. Also, you can get the optional, you can screw this on with a straw and you got your sipper straw right there. This goes on, screw that on and you can drink while you're out in your walks. You can actually have a drink with your sipper straw. This will actually go onto the wide mouth, any wide mouth, this goes onto it. There's the 1.9 litre. It actually goes onto that one as well. I go to work, take me cold water with me. And that's what I use that one for. And this thing is fantastic. It, it keeps cold, it really does. I recently took this out of the fridge. I had it in the fridge overnight. So it's been here a couple of hours now. Like I've had the lid on it. And it's at six degrees. They insulate very, very well. They're really, really good. And they've got a lifetime warranty on these as well. If the insulation ever fails, they're replacement. They, they actually replace these. All these sorts of things I do not think would be covered. Naturally, if you run over it with a car or something, it's not gonna be covered either. But insulation wise, if it fails, if it doesn't insulate like it should, they will replace the item. They're a fantastic product, they really are. It's been an hour and a half. It's 10.30 now, it was nine o'clock. I wanna put the ice in. It's not really hot enough. I was hoping I'd get some condensation on the glass. It's only 19 degrees today. So it isn't a very warm day. So I can't really show you the condensation side of it, but I can show you, so this is an hour and a half. Okay, so that's melted quite a bit. And I'll show you how much water. This is the cooler cup. I'll just show you how much liquid is actually in it. Shall tip it out on the table. Okay, this is an hour and a half. This is what melted in an hour and a half. As you see, there's the cup upside down. That's what came out of the cooler cup. Now the other cup. That's how well they insulate. And as you can see, there's a lot of liquid in there. There's quite a bit of water in there. Just shows you how well they keep cold. Okay, viewers, thank you for watching. Till next time, see you later. Bye.